Now let's turn our attention to Kogi State, for which we have a special guest to speak with us on infrastructure development. But first, Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State has continued to focus on infrastructure development across the three senatorial districts in the area of road infrastructure. The governor has completed several road projects, which include the first ever flyover bridge, and now ready for commissioning over hundreds of kilometers of roads spanning over 17 local government areas have been completed while others are under construction. In the area of healthcare, Kogi is constructing or has constructed medical facilities at the primary, secondary, and tertiary levels. The newly constructed Kogi Central Reference Hospital, or Kene, is about the best in the country today, according to reports. Governor Bello is also giving more attention to education, where he's fulfilled its counterpart obligation to Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, in order to provide state-of-the-art facilities, having fixed the primary, secondary, and technical education in the area of infrastructure. His emphasis on technical and science education as model science and technical schools are springing up across the state. The schools are judged to be some of the best in the country. The governor also established Conference University of Science and Technology in Osara. The institution is poised to redefine science and technological advancements in Nigeria. And joining us on News Across Nigeria today is the Commissioner for Information, Kogi State, Mr. Kingsley Fanwo, joins us from Lokoja, the Kogi State capital. Thank you for coming on News Across Nigeria. Thank you very much uh, for having me, and thanks to you viewers around the world. Well, it seems like a lot of good news, what I just reported. But can you give us some inside skinny of, on these issues? Can you give us what you call a progress report on some of the completed and ongoing infrastructure projects in the state, aside from what I've just mentioned. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you've uh, actually um, told the world uh, what is happening in Kogi State. It's, it's quite different from when we are the ones saying it. And uh, now that it's channel television that is telling the world about what is happening here, uh, we are very confident that uh, we'll be able to uh, roll out all of these uh, projects before the end of this administration. As you speak, we've completed the flyover bridge, the first ever in the history of the state. Uh, many administrations before the present administration have tried to build the flyover bridge, but uh, it had always uh, met with a very serious brick war when it, talk, when it comes to financial engineering. But the present administration has been able to deliver that 100% today. We are just awaiting the arrival of Mr. President at an appointed time uh, to come and commission it. Also, when you come to Lokoja, the township road, all the way from the Zone 8 roundabout to Natako Junction, you can, you can decide to close your eyes and then drive along the road. Uh, that is the touch of the uh, present administration under His Excellency al Hadi Yahya Bello. We have also done a lot of roads. We started with the rural areas uh, in the state. Before now, previous administrations really concentrate all the efforts on urban roads, especially roads um, at the state capital. But the present administration has uh, changed that. We've done a lot of roads across about 17 local government areas of the state. And this road cut across very, very rural areas of the state. So it shows that we are trying to tell people at the rural areas that they don't need to migrate to uh, the already over bloated population that we are experiencing in Lokoja as the third fastest growing city in Africa. So we are doing all this infrastructure so that we can stay back there. We have all these roads across Ampa, Igalamela, Olamaboro, and all of the local government, about 17 of the 21 local government areas where we have completed these roads in the central senatorial district and also in the western senatorial district. We've completed some of the Kaba Township Road, uh, and some are ongoing. We are very sure we'll be able to complete uh, all of this. Then, when we talk about the reference hospital uh, at Okene, the reference hospital is the best in the country today. It is 95% completed. We are just waiting for the appointed date for Mr. President to come and commission it. What we did was to go down the major hospitals, the best hospitals in Nigeria, to find out the services they cannot provide. And those are the services that we are going to provide in that hospital. I'm going to bring the Commissioner of, uh, of Health on this program 
to be able to expatiate on the technical aspect of this hospital that is going to stop medical tourism of Nigerians abroad. So it's okay, we look forward to that. We look forward to that. To to quickly jump in there. Uh, yeah. I see. But now, let's take a look at education to be specific. We know it's a national issue out of school children. There are more in some states than others. How is Kogi State Government usually using the national identification and enrollment drive to reduce the number of out of school children currently on the streets of Lokoja, the state capital? Apart from, um, apart from using the National Identity and Enrollment Plan to do that, we have moved a notch above others in the country. What we did was to enact our education law. The law was, the, the, bill, uh, the bill was signed into law in 2020 by the governor. He's one of the first governors in the entire northern Nigeria to enact a law regulating education in the state. And as we speak, I, I can assure you that um, in Kogi State today, it is an offense for any child of school age to be out of school during school hours. So these are some of the things you are doing. If you find your child out of the school or on the street walking, we prosecute the parents. And that is working wonders there. You have to take some drastic steps that are also legal to be able to stem this child. And that is what is working. Then when you come to the school environment, we started with primary school. We started with what we call the Blue Roof Revolution by paying our counterpart funding to the UBEC. And because of that, we are able to put our Blue Roof schools in all the 239 wards in the state today. And that is, that is making it attractive for our, our students are hoping to be able to go to school. Moving to secondary school, you, you've just shown the GYB model uh, science secondary school that was established uh, by GYB, state of the art secondary school. We have okay, a let's lot see, of Honorable way Commissioner, way of Commissioner, let's see, let's see if we can tick some other boxes healthcare facilities okay. and access. How is that panning out? Yeah, I've spoken about that because we have a lot of both primary, secondary, and tertiary healthcare facilities uh, going on right now in the state. The reference hospital, I've talked about it, the best in the country. I am inviting you to come to Lokoja and go to Okini, go to the specialist hospital Lokoja, go to the reference hospital Okini, go to the Prince Albata Aldo Titi Hospital at Saimba. All of these are top-notch healthcare institutions built or remodeled by the present administration. We built the reference hospital from scratch, and it is the best in the country today. And Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much for your time, Honorable Commissioner. So sorry to cut you off. So sorry. So sorry. Thank you very much. Your enthusiasm is infectious, obviously, because of this uh, very laudable progress report that you're giving. Thank you so much for your time, for making it uh, to come on news across Nigeria. Thanks for having me. Thank you.